one and gain. I'm going to get you, my pretty. Yep, he is. I'm sure he is. Mm, you put it on his tab. Little something for yourself. Wait. You know, wait a second, Hartman. I, I just thought of something. If I got this money from the bank, and the bank got it from the Federal Reserve dump tracks... Go on. Then where does the Federal Reserve get their money? Real nice time, ladies. Real nice. Now excuse me while I borrow you. Say, Hartman, why am I wearing a burglar bikini top? Because no one is allowed inside the Fed. Not you, not me, no American citizen, no duly elected member of our Congress, not the Supreme Court. Not the Supreme Court? Not the Supreme Court, not the Justice Department, not the CIA, DIA, FBI, ATF, ATE, NBC, not even G-O-D. How come the government isn't allowed inside its own building? Government? Ah, the Fed is a private bank owned by private stockholders. Do not let the name Federal fool you. This place is about as Federal as Federal Express. A, a, a private bank? A private? Shh. Best to keep your voice down, pal. This is Ethan, Federal Reserve. Hey, Ethan, Bill here, First National. Hi there, Bill. How are you? Good, good. We're running a little low on money. No problem. How much you need? Oh, how does 20 million sound? What? Excellent. We'll ship it over first thing tomorrow. Wait, he can just call up the Fed and ask for more money and they give him whatever they want? No, pal. The Fed don't give the banks money. The Fed loans the banks money. The banks have to pay it back with interest. Now, come on, time to go. Wait, 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 wait. I, I still don't understand. Where does the Fed get their money? I mean, if they're a private bank. You said they're a private bank, right? Okay, so who puts money into the Fed Bank? This is Mel, United States Mint. Hi, ML. First National needs another 20 millis. We're already running the presses full steam here, Ethan. Gotta keep making loans, gotta keep the money flowing. All right, you're the Fed. Whatever you guys say, 20 million more by morning. But I don't get it. What's so wrong about the Fed printing money? Because it's unconstitutional, pot. Our treasury is supposed to create our money, but now the Fed controls the printing of America's money. Nobody gets a friggin' dollar that the Fed didn't print. So, they print the money, then they loan it to the government, then they charge the government interest, and then the government taxes you to pay for it. Wake up, pal! God, I, I don't see what the big deal is. Mm. You know you're right, pal. Wait a minute. Wait, I am? Yeah. I forget how effective they are at keeping you ignorant. Well, it's okay. Hey, I'm not ignorant. Do you even know what money is, Pa? In the long, long ago, people bought it. They traded things they had for things they wanted. I'll trade you my raspberries for that there pot pie. I don't want your berries. Come on. Wow, well, those sweet berries. They're not sweet, they're old, and I don't like berries. Give me that pot pie! No! As you can see, this modern situation created some problems. Then one day, a goldsmith walked up and said... Now, everybody thinks gold is valuable, so why doesn't everybody trade gold for things they need? The price was set for gold, and now it was very easy to conduct commerce, because people could trade gold for all the things they needed. <laughs> Hartman! Wow! Look at all my gold! Hey! Hey, stop them! That's my gold! Damn, thieves! Say there, pile. I've got a vault and some guards. I can keep your gold safe for you. For a small fee. Yeah, sure, that'd be awesome. You see, pile, this is how the first bank made money. There you go, pile. I owe you 100 gold coins. Okay, great! Come back any time and redeem your gold when you want it. It'll be right here, in my vault. Now you're holding the very first paper money pile. Wow, this is great. It all makes sense. Oh, that's right. It was good, and everybody started using IOUs because everybody knew the IOU was as good as gold. Wow, this candy is really a good price. One IOU. <laughs> I'm getting some more for later. Hey! 
Wait a minute, it was just one IOU. Ten IOUs for chocolate? You can't just raise prices like that. Oh, the candy man can. Oh, the candy man can. Wait, that is just freaking wrong. It's called inflation, pile. It makes your IOUs worth less and less until they are worth nothing. Less bang for the buck, dollar ain't what it used to be. But I worked hard and I baked all those pot pies. Now I have to work harder to make less? That's not fair. Oh, if you think that's not fair, you're gonna love the next part. What's he doing? How do banks make money, pal? Uh, by making more loans? Oh, that's right. He's good. See, he prints more IOUs without any more gold, loans him out for interest, makes a pretty penny, and nobody is the wiser. Unless... Everybody wanted their gold back at the same time. No, 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 no. Th that's my gold. Not anymore. What are you talking about? I'd like to redeem my IOUs, please. Thank you very much. Hey! I want my gold back now! Thief! Thief! I love the bank run. Bringing people together. See, they all found out he was stealing made a run on the bank and demanded their gold, but as you can see, they ain't no gold to get. Herman! Don't worry, pal. Back in these times, vengeance is no yours. Three things in this world you don't do. Never mess with another man's woman. Never mess with another man's ego. And most importantly, you never mess with another man's money. Else, a man will mess with you. My God! You hung him? Yes, Pi. Oh, we hung him. We hung him high. And do you know why? Well, because he was a thief? Because, Pile, an evil invention was born. Man discovered how to turn worthless paper into gold. Thus was invented the ultimate machine to steal real money and enslave all the nations on Earth. Oh, now, come on. You're just being dramatic. I, I, I mean, I lost my house, but... What is that? Explain. A nuclear power plant? Mm-hmm. Produces lots of electricity and little pollution. An invention for the good of humanity. Okay, but what's this have to do with... Three, two... Holy atomic energy! A discovery more powerful than anything man had yet conceived. It can be used for good or evil. Now... Unlike Einstein.